<laughs> oh, recording is in progress. That's for legal right. purposes. Is that what that is? <laughs> oh, okay. Do I? What do I hit? Do I hit leave meter or continue? Yeah. Okay. Do I? Yeah. Okay, I hit continue. Okay. I was having a question. <laughs> All right. Let's play. Let's do it. Three, two, one. It's a How's it going? You got Lanai with It's a Hawaii Thing, and that's Brooke Lee, ladies Hi. and gentlemen, and we like each other. Sometimes. Yeah. We have a great show for you today. Uh, this guest that we have, man, she's killing it in, in New like York. It. She's doing all kinds of things. Um, where do I start? She's a singer-songwriter. Of course. Um, she was written and performed overseas with releases on MCA, uh, Defected, Nervous Records, Urbana, Strictly Rhythm. Um, she's going to be playing Diana Ross. In a uh, upcoming off-Broadway musical, okay, and uh, we got to ask her about this one, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Yasmin Suleiman. How are you, Yasmin? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Nice to see you. And local girl. <laughs> nice Let's be clear. Too. Yes. Do you remember? <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to remember, so I'm asking you. Do you remember the first time we met? I I think I met you when I came to the radio station. Even in before. The morning. Even uh -oh. before that. Yes. Uh oh. Were you in Brown Bags to Stardom? Yes. <laughs> we met at Brown Bags. Wow. Stardom. You were in high school oh and, and I emceed. I hosted. Yeah. Wow. That's right. Yes. Oh did you go, my wait, gosh. Did you go to Punahou? I did. Yeah. See, it was at Punahou. Now it's coming back. Wow. It is. Yes. Oh my gosh. You I, look see, awesome. You look the same. I forget. Oh, you were the gosh, Dick Clark of the Brown Bags to Stardom the genre Dick, in that era. The Dick Clark. That's a great. That's, is that what, a compliment? What years was that? What year, you, what, year was what year did you graduate? That was 2000s. What year did you graduate? That was 98. Yep. So, oh. yeah, the, the, the whole 90s, I hosted all of them. All, with, of, broad, with all Jimmy, of the Brown with Bags. With Jimmy the Geek. And, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my gosh, yeah. That is and, old and I'm not school. saying this because um, I'm not saying this because you're here right now, but when you won, I said, that girl's going to be a star. I mean, I'm sorry. Wait, Aww. let's back up because yeah. I wasn't Thank here. Thank you. That's so nice. So you won Brown Bags that year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, I, I predicted Glenn Medeiros because I host I, that year. I said that guy's gonna be a star. Um, Jake was in Brown Bags. Jake. Jake lost, but I said he's gonna be Jake a star. Who? Jake Shimabukuro. Oh, he was in Brown Bags yeah. too. Yeah. I got to. I was lucky enough to see all that wow. generation. You guys become who you are now. Oh, that's so. That's yeah. so nice. Oh my gosh. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you too. Oh my god, yeah. it's so funny. Like. I feel like competitions like that are sort of like auditions. It's always a blur. Yeah. So I'm like, I know I did it, but I don't really, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't really remember all the details because you know all the nerves and everything. But it's so it's so nice to see you again. Wait, yeah. so what did she? What did you sing at Brown Bags? I don't remember what you sang. I sang "Love Is on the Way" by Billy Porter. Oh, oh my! It was, you okay. Mm -hmm. It, was, wow. it wasn't like a super well-known song. It was in, do you remember that movie, First Wives Club? Yes. Yeah. It Diane was in Keaton. that movie. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So good. Bette Midler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, after, <laughs> so after you graduate, where do you go on from there? Where did you go? So I was signed to MCA in the second half of my senior year. Wow. And so, this is without brown bags. Let's be clear. That wasn't yeah. a brown yeah, bag. Yeah, because that'd be cheating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Okay, cool. You weren't a professional yet. Cool. Okay. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, I literally, I left a week after I graduated high school and moved to LA and like got sort of put into that whole machine of the, the yeah. music industry. Um, actually, my A&R guy, the guy that signed me was Randy Jackson <laughs> from American wow. Idol. From American Idol? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Wow. It but was this is pre-idol. I oh, had yeah, happened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty well, this is a few years before that. Right. And no, this so... is 450 pound Randy Jackson. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That but it's so it. funny because he, when people thought it was an act, but that's literally how he would talk. I would go into the label to have meetings about the album and he was like, yes, dog, what's good, dog? <laughs> and, and so <laughs> when, when the show came out, I was like, yeah, well, yeah, there that's you him. Go. Here, yeah. here you go. <laughs> That's, That's so cool. Which see what you get. What um, a great story. So you signed with MCA, you moved to LA, then what's next? Uh, 
Well, so that was an interesting experience because when I was that whole era of the music industry was when everything was imploding because of Napster and yeah. all of the like downloading and everything. So all of the labels were scrambling. I mean, right. people were just going from label to label to label and merging and everything. So it was definitely a learning experience. Right. Yeah. Um, we put an album together, but they only released a single. Uh, and then, um, yeah, and I, you know, four years later, I was like, okay, I think I'm... I think I'm Done. okay. I think I'm I can go. I'm thinking, pow here. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Wow. And, um, and I auditioned for a Broadway tour and I did that for a year and then that took me to New York. Was that oh. Little Shop of Horrors? It was Little Shop of Horrors. Are you it a stalker? You. I'm like, I'm no, I, you know what? I cause, Because I, I followed you, but I didn't follow you. Like I knew... Because I did. I said, she, this girl's going to well, be a star. Well, because you had skin in the game because you'd watched her win well, brown bag. Yeah, and, and I was yeah. in radio for so long that we kind of, you got to, you know, keep pop culture. Track. You got to yeah. keep track. So I've always kept tabs, but I lost oh. track of you for the past maybe five or six years. And then they said you were going to be on the show. I was like, hell yeah. I wonder if she uh, remembers me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of that's course. awesome. Yeah, Brooke, Brooke books a lot of our guests, All most of, of them, our guests. Actually. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's always good to get surprises too. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but, but we gotta so cool. we gotta take a quick break. We'll talk more about your career. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just nine ninety five per month. Go to StarAdvertiser dot com and click on subscribe. Use the code A H I thing. Chaminade University is preparing Hawaii's leaders for tomorrow, today. Earn a private education with a public service mission right here at home. Get started at Chaminade.edu. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. We're talking with Yasmin Suleiman, and uh, you just signed with MCA Records. You moved to L.A. The Broadway thing. Did you think you were going to do Broadway? How did that happen? Uh you know, I grew up doing theater in Hawaii, like Diamond Head Theater, and we used to do all those shows at Ala Moana and nice. like just local stuff. But it was never, it was never really like on my list. It was something that I was like, that would be so cool to do, but it wasn't like an ultimate goal. Uh -huh. And then when I when I got Little Shop of Horrors, I was like, oh, actually, I really do love doing this. And so once I once I got off the road, I and got to New York, I started doing. Um, I did the first thing I did was an off Broadway show. And then I just started auditioning in that world more. And it uh -huh. was, it was great. Cause I, you know, I, I didn't go to school for it. Like a lot of my contemporaries, yeah. but, but I just, you know, I have like a genuine love for it and, yeah. and grew up doing it. So it was, the it was great. Theater yeah. I think is so addicting. I did one thing and I was addicted to it. And I just, I guess stand up. that's why I do stand up. But do you, do you have a brother? I do, Sterling, Sterling Suleiman, now, he's it, also an actor. Was it your brother in Brown Bear? You were officially a stalker. He was, did, actually my brother won two years later. <laughs> see, I, I hosted that one too. I'm sorry, you guys have a lock on Brown Bears? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, we're, how's your brother doing? I know this is your show, but just real quick, how's your brother <laughs> doing? Story of my life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, no, he's great, he's an actor, he lives in LA, he, um, He's, you know, on all these different series. Actually, when we were both home during the pandemic, um, he booked, uh, what's it called? Magnum? Uh, I Know What You Did Last oh, Summer. Oh, oh I, yes. that was here. That's right. Yes. Uh, so, I yeah. think Ruben, our director, worked on that. Well, you know, we got to get him on the show. Okay, enough about him. Yeah, we'll don't get parlay, him. bro. We'll get on we're we'll focusing get on, on her right on now. Another show. Come on. <laughs> so how? So are you, are you living in Manhattan? <laughs> Uh, I live in Brooklyn now. Because uh, she's lived... bougie <laughs> like that. Listen, I moved to Brooklyn when it wasn't bougie. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, it was actually part of getting older. I was like, when I first moved to New York, I was like, I want to be in the thick of everything. Yeah. And I just remember this one night, I was like 28 or 29, and it was four in the morning. It was snowing outside, and people were screaming Journey <laughs> at the top of their lungs trying to um, hail a cab. And I was like, I think it's time to move to Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good for you. I gotta go. <laughs> how, how often do you come home? Usually, um, like once a year. Yeah. Um, like the last from 2014 until the end of 2019, I was doing Beautiful on Broadway, and we only got two weeks of vacation a year. Wow. So I would come home for a week every year. Um, Man, I wish I looked you up earlier. I, you know, I go to New York just to watch shows <laughs> mm. and I try to look oh. for the whole, I try to look for the Hawaii people. Right. Obviously, well, you, go you guys are everywhere. Yeah. You're pretty prolific. Yeah. We're everywhere, especially 
kind of my generation just really went out and yeah, yeah. did great, great things. Right. Um, yeah. yeah uh, there's a lot of, a lot of folks. Um, but yeah, so it was, I usually only get to be home for a week at a time. So being home during the pandemic was amazing. So uh-huh. what makes you decide like the whole world fell apart and you were in New York, you're like, this is getting crazy. I'm just going to get on a plane and go back to Hawaii or... Yeah. Yeah. I I left in August. So, you know, the shutdown was in March and then we had that whole summer of protests and everything. And it was just, it was a lot. And I mean, you know, it was important, but it was, it was a lot. And in New York, like you could only be in your apartment, right? you know, in Hawaii, like you have a backyard or you can take a walk or something. But in New York, it was like, everybody go home and stay in your four walls. (laughs) And so- after after months of that, I was like, you know, I think I'm going to go home. And I was planning to only be home for two months. And <laughs> my friends that also went home were like, you're the only one who thought that that was going to happen. Right. And I ended up staying for eight. Wow. Nice. So, good nice. for you. <laughs> yeah. Good, good yeah. to reset the button. What What's the one thing oh, you man. miss besides the weather in Hawaii? What's that thing that you miss that makes you homesick? Well, I miss sitting on the beach. Like that is my true happy place. Uh, Kailua Beach is like. I just go there and clear my head. But aside from that, the food. I just miss the food. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I go home, I lose weight. Like I l- try to lose like four pounds. Before you like, come. All bets are off. In, pre- yeah. pre- in preparation for yeah. what's happening. Yeah, I'm like happening. all bets are off when I get there. Right, so. right, 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 right. Is there, is there a particular food that you got to go get? Like I got to go to where? I mean, how much time do you have? Literally <laughs> everything. Just yeah. like like that monopool place up in Manoa and yeah. just like shave ice, and just everything. Yeah. And then like, you know, there are things that you can't, that I didn't know were a Hawaii thing, like a meat jun. I tried yeah, to order that it's just barbecue in New York and they were like, what are, what are you talking about? about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, nothing, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I want to continue this food conversation. Don't go anywhere. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, Yasmin is hanging out with us. It's a Hawaii thing. This show is brought to you by Atlas Construction, Hawaii's number one builder for nine years in a row. Call them at 808-951-9500 for the quality and service you deserve today. HEC Medical Clinic, Dr. Aries Oda, Hawaii's number one laser weight loss center for weight loss, reverse diabetes, and heart disease. Call today for your limited time special, only $37. Lose one to two inches instantly. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Yasmin Suleiman hanging out with us, and we're talking about all the foods that you miss here in Hawaii. Do you cook when you're at home? Do you cook Hawaiian food or Hawaiian-style food? I don't because, I mean, I never got taught how to cook it, so that's why it's also, like, really special. <laughs> what? There's no rice cooker <laughs> in your house? Say <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, local, lo- you can make a local moko. I could. I could do that. I yeah. could do that. So you're, you're um, not cooking at home at all. In New York, you no. get everything anywhere except for local food. But there is local except food. For local food. There's, there's, a, there's an L and L Hawaiian barbecue. Uh, it's about. It used to be near Times Square, but I think they moved. And she's yeah. like, and it's not really that great. Yeah. She's it's like, not, yeah. Yeah. it's not. It's not the same. Yeah. <laughs> my friends tell I'm me. Tried. My friends tell me when it's all you got, it's all you got. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. It'll work in a pinch, but in general, <laughs> you're like, oh, good. <laughs> are you doing any record? Are you doing any recording still? Or are you done with the record business? Uh, you know, actually, I just reached out to a friend of mine because a lot of my friends um, all had a bunch of babies. <laughs> and yeah. um, and I started writing lullabies. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put out a little lullaby EP. That's a great um, idea. I'm a little, yeah. A bunch of my cousins have little little ones. So that's my that's my new pet project between now and when rehearsals start up. Yeah, right. That's just a great idea. Kimmy A. Minor did one right. and she did a, uh, some of those lullabies in Hawaii. She won a Grammy. That thing it just took off. For yeah. the lullaby wow. that she did yeah. for. What did she do? That's little amazing. Sunshine. You Are My Sunshine in Hawaiian or something. Yeah. Right? Oh, um, so let's roll into Broadway for a second yeah. because I'm excited because we love all of you guys holding it down um, in Broadway. But it's coming back. It's not coming back. Are we buying tickets to come to see you in New York? What's happening? I think buy tickets, but I mean, it, they're saying it's coming back. So I'm choosing to believe them. Right. But on, you know, on the. The other side, like our union kind of hasn't told us anything and we still, a few things are still up in the air. So there's a little bit of a gray area, but I think 
I think, I mean, they've they've cracked saying. some sort of code and they've figured out yeah. how to get you guys on yeah. stage and everybody's sectioned off safely and able to watch the shows and they're figuring it yeah. out. And you're and you're yeah. you're coming back. You're doing Diana. You're playing Diana Ross. I am. Yeah, this it's a new show. It's off Broadway. It's called Trevor and it's based on this short from the early 90s that won an Oscar and um, it's, which is what started the Trevor Project, the foundation. And um, it's about this little boy who is realizing that he might be gay. And I play Diana Ross, who's sort of his imaginary friend. Like it's a heightened vert, almost like a slightly draggy version. Okay, you're 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 his spirit animal, if you will. Uh, right, exactly. <laughs> and so you're like, his Amakua. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, I mean, it's so fun. We were only two weeks into rehearsal when uh, when everything got shut down. Wow. But I mean, they, it's mostly kids and they're so talented and they're singing and acting and dancing and like working so hard. And I just swan across stage <laughs> in sequins singing half of an Adderall song. I was like, this might be the best job, job ever. ever. Wow, good for you. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to get back to it. It's, it's a really sweet show. Were too, you a so. Diana Ross fan growing up? Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. We, we listened to Motown and everything, all that stuff. My parents loved that. So that's exciting. so your brother went to Punahou too, not to like steal your mm -hmm. thunder, but y'all went to Punahou and <laughs> yeah. then y'all dominated at Brown Bears. Yeah, they did. And then y'all went won. out and conquered the world. Wow, <laughs> pretty amazing, huh? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, lightning struck this several about times. Conquered the world, but <laughs> struck several times. Your parents are they singers, actors? No, well they um. They both have a love for the arts. My dad used to play percussion in a band when he was in college. My mom used to dance, but they didn't, neither one of them wanted the life because it's, you know, yeah. it's a tricky yeah. career. It's yeah. a tough one. Um, yeah, so I mean, they, they have a genuine love and appreciation for it, which is why they were always so supportive. Mm -hmm. But um, no, nobody else in our family does it. It's all like- <laughs> They must be so proud of, <laughs> so proud of you guys, huh? <laughs> they are, they are, and it's, yeah, I'm pr really I'm nice. proud They've of you guys. Do you guys. Thank you. Do, do they come? Do they come to the shows often when pre pre pandemic? Yeah, I mean they would. Sterling does mostly TV, so that's easy for them yeah. to see. But um, yeah, they would they would try and do a yearly trip, and <laughs> they just kept watching Beautiful over and over. <laughs> that's so cool. That's so they cool. loved it though. <laughs> wow, I gotta look up Sterling. I, I forget what Sterling looks like. He, that was a long time ago. Don't tell him I said it, but he's yeah. he's very handsome guy. Aww. <laughs> Roll the tape. No. Yeah. <laughs> we'll send the, we'll send him this part of the show That's for his so birthday. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm assuming he sang too for Brown. Bra yeah, Bass? he he's he sang right. He did. It's so funny. I actually ran into a couple of the girls that. Did wait, the wait, hold, hold that, hold that thought. We got to we got to take a quick break, and we want to okay. hear uh, this story. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, talking story with Yasmin Suleiman. And, uh, we were talking about your brother did brown bags. He won two years after you. and He sang, right? He did. He did a number by Usher, I think. Was uh, it? Really? He, he enlisted like six of his friends and he was just like you can be the sexy dancing lady wow and like, they found them little costumes and they were so cute i didn't know but... brown bags went into production like that there was oh, like yeah. full-blown acts there was some there, he... <laughs> there was wow. a lot of really good um acts that like guys that didn't win that because really back good. in the day it was just like Naleo Pili Hana, Mehana came out with guitars and ukuleles but and sang was, and went away. <laughs> you got to remember now, that was the generation before her, theirs. Right. Well, two yeah, actually so, or three. So like the 90s, it just got big. Oh, everybody just yeah. went to the next well, level. MTV and you know, oh, people got it. started Production doing value became yeah. a thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Scared yeah. of you. And it's also just very much my brother. He just has like, he sees the full picture. I was like, give me a mic and I'll sing a song. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. and then this will come out and we'll like. <laughs> yeah, the Cue the full... smoke. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so did you get to so. sit with the Di Diana Ross camp or did you get to learn anything from them? Or was it just uh not yet. I mean, like I said, we were we were only two weeks into rehearsal. And so it was still kind of early days for us. Um, yeah. I haven't I would love to meet. actually this. I mean, whatever. Um, 
I I was like, will this sound obnoxious? No, when I was living in LA, I sang the anthem for a Sparks game and she was there with her son. Oh. And when I finished, she came up and she was like, you have a beautiful voice. Wow. And so that was a really cool moment with her. So that's the only time I've met her, but. But you didn't know you were doing this part yet. No, this is no that's, for that's back is... when I was like 19. Oh, okay, Aww. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they have to set that up. She's lovely. I hear she's wonderful. Yeah. Lovely, would, lovely uh, lady. Yeah. I, I would so love how do you get ready that. for this? Do you watch her videos? Do, what do you do? I was watching a lot of her old concert videos uh -huh. because, I mean, I wasn't trying to be, I talked with the director about it and we weren't trying to do like a, a you know, legit impression of Diana Ross because it's heightened for him. It's like yeah. this imagined, dramatic, you know, fabulous version of, right. of her. And, um, and so, yeah, I just, I watched a lot of her, her concerts from the eighties and, and, you know, try to affect my voice a little bit in terms of how she sings and the way she creates her vowels and, yeah. you know, something similar to her tone. Cause I mean, I have a very different voice than she does, but, um, but I tried to honor things like that, that kind of give you that signature Diana Ross. Did you have to audition or, you know, for this or did they offer this to you? Did you audition? I did audition. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, but it's actually the 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 director is Mark Bruni and he directed um Beautiful okay. as well. Oh, that's great. So it's always nice when you walk in and you kind of know it's the team. It's a friendly face. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. less terrifying. Right, right, right. Um, oh, 100%. Yeah. Are you going to be yeah. playing her 60s, 70s? Like are you doing the big hair in the in the show? This is You know, I hadn't seen my wigs yet. Okay. But I, okay. I was in the gowns. I had fittings, but um I think it's it's supposed to be like 70s solo career, Diana. Uh, okay. okay. So and how I think old? It's, yeah, it's the how parents. old are the kids that are in the in the show? What age range is it? They're all they. Well, before I mean, they kind of have to re-audition because they've it's gotten older three years later, yeah. and yeah, some of them have aged out. But they were from like 12 to 15, 16, but looking on like the young younger. Side. Oh, okay. What a bummer, huh? Wow. For, I mean, not uh, just for know, this show, for it's everybody. It's the Billy Elliot effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's why I think that's why it's it's a limited run. It's only thirteen weeks. Right. But, yeah. Because um, yeah, because kids grow up. They do. So what are, what are they yeah. talking about? August or October? Uh, September is oh, when they September. are allegedly. This is all Jimmy Fallon. Blame Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Jimmy had the In the Heights people on. I saw the episode, and he had all the In the Heights people come out, and he was bringing out the big guns. And oh, then yes. Lin Manuel came out, yes, and they're yes, like, yes. "We're back!" Yes. And they like did a whole like number, and I was like, "You guys better really be coming yes. back, because if it, uh, this is just to promote In the Heights, that's wait. really cruel." We we want to talk. We we got to talk more with you. If you guys want to watch the rest of this interview, oh, you wait. have to go to the extended wait, version. I'm giving her things on YouTube. I know. While okay. you get it out, Brooke has a gift for you. A party. Yeah. is our sponsor yeah we love them congratulations and on everything you're doing yeah getting a sweatshirt i am so proud of you and thank i'm you. so oh, glad thank you we're reconnecting i'm gonna come see you in new york so crazy check out the extended thank version you. on youtube spotify mm -hmm. apple this is a hawaii thing, mahalo for, for watching a hundred percent it's a hawaii thing Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Yasmin Suleiman is hanging out with us and uh, the next Diana Ross on Broadway. <laughs> what is the show going to be called? Trevor? Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I just met uh, three weeks ago. This guy took on my food tour. Mm. He's in charge of the ticketing for Broadway. He's out, he's out of Florida. That's a misnomer because yeah. that's a very large job. So it can't It's an amazing him. job. No, no. He started the uh, ticket outlet so for... So the TK... No, that's not TKTS, oh. but he does... Um, so how do you say it? He does group sales. He started the group sales thing. So like oh. uh, you want to buy in bulk or, or you know, a row or like, so he, you know, he gets a lot of, of celebrities. shows on Broadway? A lot of them. Almost 100% of them. Weird. Yeah. Wow. You better keep his card. Oh. I know. I was supposed to say good his, for him. His yeah. whole family uh, <laughs> hired me to take him to Japan. So I'm doing a oh. food tour for them next year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm, I wow. kept his card. Super nice guy. Um, but he's seen every Broadway show, obviously. Um, it was cool to talk story with him about huh. Broadway. I bet. Um, I bet. Say, what, what's your favorite, before you got into this, what, what was your Broadway shows that you liked or watched? Well, let's see. I mean, I loved Once, I I'd still love Once on this Island. I actually got to see that, the newer production of it. It was so good at Circle in the Square. Um, I, I mean, I like everything. I kind of like, you know, the from the Les Mis and the Phantom yeah. type shows to... 
Hamilton and Wicked. I love it all. I mean, it's it's all. I love that there are different styles now too yeah. within the Broadway genre, and you can you can have wildly different experiences in in terms of you know your when you go to the theater because it it kind of used to be one style. Right? Yeah. What what's the one with the puppets? The pu- Avenue, Q. Avenue, Avenue Q. Q. So that was like my second big Broadway play that I watched. And I didn't know what it was. I had no clue there was puppets in it. A friend took me as a <laughs> as a gift. Yeah. You know, like one of the, hey, we're, after, we're going to dinner. I'm going to take you to a show. Right. So I go and I, I'm like, this is a puppet show. <laughs> this is- and and <laughs> like within 30 seconds in my mind, I was saying, this is a puppet show. This can't be good. And and I was dying. Yeah. I, I thought it was brilliant. I mean, brilliant. it was Dirty Sesame Street. So, cool. yeah, so yeah. I didn't know, oh, yeah. Yeah. like you said, I didn't know that there was another kind of style. This was 15 years ago, by the way. Way. Well, yeah. I mean, when it, it just came out. That, but, yeah. And because uh, I, I think the show I saw before that was the producers. Which, oh, wow. Which, which is a totally different genre. Which is awesome because yeah. I, um, I like yeah. comedy. And, and what's the guy's name? The main guy was there. Uh, Nathan Lane. Nathan, Nathan Lane, Lane was Lane. there before oh. he left. So that was amazing. Um, but yeah, it's interesting, yeah, how things have but changed. But you're not a bright kid. She's not a bright I'm kid. I'm not smart at all, but no, I, not I caught her smart. all of it. <laughs> I'm saying for her, because like a lot of the kids that go to Broadway. Oh, oh, I thought you, because I'm the only one that didn't go to Punahou in this conversation. No, because she went to Punahou, so you didn't go to Castle. Right. But you, you were at Diamond Head. Was that your hood? You were like a Diamond Head Diamond shooting Head. star? Were you a shooting star at I, Diamond You know, I wasn't a shooting star. I was like, I was a little bit too old for shooting stars. Oh, okay. But... I was um I was Diamond Head. I was definitely an Ala Moana kid with Dustin Sparks. All oh, those wow. shows. <laughs> okay. And okay. Like, so you guys did the yeah. Christmas Calvade and all of that. That's so funny. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ala Moana oh, yeah. kid. Yeah, because they did full blown productions <laughs> yeah, there. I they mean, did. it was kind of crazy. They it was really like, did. I mean, it wasn't the Follies, but I mean, they did their version yeah. of. No, it was big. I mean, it was it, like the Rockettes yeah. of Ala Moana. <laughs> of Ala Moana, which honestly. I went home. I went when I was home, and Alamana is, is totally changed. To me now. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I was like, where am I? It's a <laughs> totally like, different. world. Even the stage turned it's around. A fortress. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally. Let different. me oh, let me ask God. this, Jasmine. You you're a writer. You write music. You write you write lyrics. You write music. I do uh, lyrics and melody. Okay, and do you write like for? Would you ever write a Broadway play? Oh, I don't know if that's my ministry. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not sure that's, that's my calling. How about Broadway, <laughs> music, music for Broadway? How about that? Maybe, maybe if I collaborate, I think I don't know if I'm. I, I don't know if I know enough music theory because I, I I didn't go to school for for theater. But I think that's the anything. that's the amazing thing, though. I think you could do it. You've had Aww, the experience to do it. You've had the experience to do it. Where right? are you going with this? Because there's always an angle. No, I'm just wondering if it's if <laughs> this you want is... her to write a Broadway play about no, Hawaii on the plantation. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, no, what's I, I'm just wondering, like, if you were to get into the other side of it, you know, producing, directing, or is it something it's, you just want to be on stage your whole your whole life? It's it, it's always a possibility. I mean, I've also kind of my other sort of new project is to jump into this world. Um, I have a new podcast idea that I, I'm starting to reach out to people about. Oh, oh nice. Well, you should yeah. reach out right here. Because What's the name of it? Because he's the podcast general of Hawaii, this guy right here. I, w- I will. Um, I don't have a name yet. It's it's super. I have the concept and everything, but I, I haven't named it yet. Oh, don't by, say by the, the way, concept on air because the, he yeah, will don't steal say it. it. No, I'm not he gonna will steal it. No, he not me. Other people, it. other people will. And I'm the podcast general of the Pacific, not Hawaii. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. No, but you know, we're here. We're all was trying to help with podcasts we have a podcast network yeah. we have 10 podcasts oh, different, yeah. 10 different shows i'm just saying so no it's it's about how how do we help people from hawaii because here's oh. the issue with this is the reason why we did this all of our talent leaves brooke left you left everybody leaves <laughs> See how he guilts us see how he guilts us <laughs> and i'm not even catholic uh-huh so it's one of the things that i'd like to try to do is showcase the rock left everybody left how do we <laughs> How do we showcase all of our talent and be, we don't have, Amazon's coming here, Netflix is coming here, they're building studios here. Do we want them to bring all their people? No, we want to use all the people that are here in Hawaii and keep all the money in Hawaii. And Hawaii in their heart. Because yeah. Hawaii's in your heart so all th- the way in Manhattan. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm trying to do. So don't listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff coming from that side. Okay. But yeah, you know what I mean though? You guys are all so, so talented. Why don't we have that? Um, I was talking to uh, uh, some UFC fighters the other mm. day 
and they they were doing like um, what do you call them uh, classes or whatever you right know? and I was like well, why don't you do them in Hawaii and they're like oh they never thought about, about doing it in Hawaii mm. but it's a yeah. it, it keep it teaches them uh, our Olympic team this year is going to have four Hawaii boys on it they four all UFC? from Punahou uh, of course yeah and Iolani <laughs> but my, my point is they all went away to play in college right right and yeah. they if they can you imagine if they all played at UH UH women's and men's team would have the best teams in the world wow Football, yeah. everything. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes we got to go away to come I back. I know, I know. But some of these guys aren't level coming up back. And then you it come took back Brooke and 20 you, years to come you back. You bring back all the knowledge <laughs> gained. And then Hawaii's better for Yasmin, it. Yasmin, I've been trying to yes, get Brooke so to, <laughs> to do something with me for a long time. And she was she was Hollywood, right? I was not Hollywood. It took a long Be time. Be clear, I lived in Hollywood. <laughs> very different. Very, very yeah. different. So I, so I had to pay her to come back. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, that's where, I'm, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going with it. So just <laughs> keep no just keep you that know, in right. the back of your mind, right? Where I will. where I you would, started. I would love that. Yeah. Do you hang out with local people in New York? Do you hang out with other uh, Punahou people, or like, do you have a crew there that is from Kamainas or? Um, a few. I mean, it's it's sort of hard to like. I have friends from high school, but they don't perform so right. those schedules are always the exact opposite yeah um but i see jason tam every now and then oh okay <laughs> um yeah i mean i my my friends are definitely a mixed bag of jason tam i know I, I know jason tam <laughs> you know everybody what does jason tam do uh jason tam has done everything from television he's been on broadway a few times he was um there there was uh what's it called the the documentary about a chorus line mm. oh uh, yes 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 yeah. yes he's so talented and yeah. just the sweetest kindest is person. he a, a punahou boy he is that's <laughs> that's why i know jason tam. we went yeah. to we went to junior function together oh, shit, look at uh, that. okay that's so cool <laughs> did he play tommy aguilar in uh chorus line which character did he play? Do you he remember? Played, uh, oh, what are the, um, he played the one who breaks his leg in the middle of the show. I don't know if that's I Tommy. I, I that might be the, that might be Tommy. I think so. It might be Tommy. I yeah. can't remember the name of the character right now. Tommy but, lived um, in Hawaii, by the way. Yeah, I got it yeah. from the Aguilar name. Yeah, I get yeah. it. I get, I get it. But, but <laughs> yeah, I think he was from L.A., but he was he lived here for a long time. Huh. He was James Roche's best friend. Oh, really? That's how I met him. Yeah. Wow. Small world. So cool. From the Bradas. You know the Bradas? The, the comedy duo? Tony Silva, you're a little yeah. too young. They were in Mechanical know. Masters back when you were not. You might have seen their TV shows head. though. They, they've been I on probably, TV yeah, for twenty it years. It sounds familiar. Yeah. I don't know if I watched it though. Yeah. So are you doing um, any acting off Broadway, like on television in front of the camera? Well, you know, actually, when I was home, I booked well, one of the Hallmark movies. <gasps> oh yeah, <gasps> Ruben. Look at you. Ruben, what's the name of the Hallmark movie you just did? Multitasking uh, during a <laughs> pandemic. Okay. You, know, you had me at Aloha. You had me at Aloha. Is that the Hallmark? Because there was. Is that two? the one you did? Um, ours was. Um, well, at least the working title was. Oh no! Oh no! I can't think of it right now. Um, Love for real. Love for real. Okay. Yeah. Did it, it come? Did the it come out yet? One. No. It. They did three back to back, and so. Um, ours was the second one. Okay, we got to look for it. I love that yeah. she like came home because pandemics, and then, and then she books, books a gig. while she's here. She's like, I'm here. Man, I'm not. I'm not do? a hater, but those people irritate me. Why? Because oh, you. Because oh, you don't book. Yeah, I don't book. He don't book. Yeah. See? That's why I make my own shows because I can't book anything. <sighs> However, you get it done, love. However yeah. Listen, that's done. better. Right. I don't Call know if shots. it is. It's called the shot. It's Definitely like, better. What's that guy, Byron? Byron Allen. Byron Allen yeah. on Maui. Hi, Byron. He, yeah. Bought KITV. He yeah. makes his own shows because he, he can't get any, so Sup. he makes. That's his own. right. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, um, the the lead though was uh, she's a local girl, um. Of the Hallmark movie. Oh, Tiana really? Tully, I believe. Tiana Tully, yeah. Tiana oh, Tully. Oh, yeah. I think she's yes. on. Was so she on she... Magnum? She was the one on Magnum. Yes. Yeah, she yeah. played, she and Amy Hill did a lot of scenes together. Oh. She's did, a recurring. Did you guys work with her? They're talking about it right now. Uh, or yeah. Googling our Googling. Our team. Other. Did you guys work with her? I went to school with her. Oh, you went to school with her. What school oh, did she go gosh. to? Where? Uh, she went to Kaiser. Oh, she went to Kaiser. She went to Kaiser. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Okay. okay. That's awesome. That's more than Jason Momoa. That's <laughs> <laughs> love you, brother. That's I'm good. Just saying. 
That's good. The local the locals are starting to make some noise. Iowa in the house. Yeah. We have so many shows coming here this year. Are you? Do you tell your agent, hey, look out for any of these shows? Oh, for because you from NCIS Hawaii? is here. Yeah. Oh, that. totally. Yeah. yeah. Actually, um, uh, uh, my local agent is someone I grew up doing theater with. So when I was home, she was like, I drop think- a name. Who is it? Um, it's Hawaii's best talent. It's Aubrey, Aubrey Glover. I have um, heard Hawaii's best she, talent. Yeah. I've never heard of Hawaii's best talent. I have. That's yeah. an agency in town. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look them um, up for baby. Yeah. So I was like, girl, especially while I'm home. Right. <laughs> I was yeah. like, go ahead and submit me for yeah. local things. You're like, I'm here. Um, why not? Yeah, absolutely. And even when I, even when I'm here, I'm like, I have a place to stay if I go. So yeah. I'll still go out and then for... your brother's like looking over his shoulder, like, "Are you getting in my lane? Yeah. What's happening right now? What's happening?" Hello. I'm gonna. Hello. I gotta look up your brother. Is he on Instagram? What's his Instagram? He is. It's. I think it's just his name, Sterling Suleiman. Okay. And what's yours? It was something different. Yasmin S. Okay. I'm gonna Yasmin look for. S. I'm gonna look for you. So she's yeah. not committing to Broadway being back yet because she doesn't lie, like Jimmy <laughs> Fallon. And we love you, Lin Manuel. But she's like, they were a little ahead of the game. <laughs> I'm behind the scenes, and we're still kind of like we not sure. But September is a lofty goal. Well, you know, you look at what happened in Fourth yeah. of July in New York and these parties and whatever. It's it's pretty reachable everyone was packed everywhere was filled with people Con- there's concerts is the city already. crazy is brooklyn crazy there's right concerts now concerts already no it's, it's new york still isn't back fully i mean it's definitely more awake than it has been for the last year but right it's, it still feels kind of strange yeah. um there's just the missing actually, the tourists that's all like like uh read the rest of japan and everywhere they're all here yeah. they're all here yeah. when you were here did everyone you, is here they're yeah. here it's kind of yeah. crazy People it was are. it was intense. I've seen those pictures recently in um of like Mono Lily and yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's all insane. those places. It's wild. It's Florida. Like, is- we are basically we have, Panama City. We're getting forty thousand yeah. visitors a day. Forty thousand a insane. day. Insane. Oh and we gosh. were. Go- I mean, you were here. We were a ghost town. <laughs> like yeah. you could yeah. do donuts in the middle of Kalakaua. I mean, there was nobody. It was, here. <laughs> it's crazy. It was great. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, no one's complaining. <laughs> but and then all of a sudden it went from zero to one hundred and fifty, and everyone's like, "Wait, what yeah. happened?" Yeah. Yeah, that was, I've seen the pictures of the, like, what was it, the um, airport on Maui? Yeah, yeah. all the people. Rammed full of people. Yeah. It's Man, I wish, it's you, I wish I knew you were in New York. Um, right before the pandemic, I shot this thing for, um, this food thing, and we were looking for uh, female entertainers. They had, like, they picked a girl, a Filipino girl who danced, and she was a choreographer for Hamilton. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. They picked. But um, she wasn't from Hawaii. She was just Asian. Yeah, just, uh, it was for the Filipino Network. Oh, got it. Um, ASN? But they didn't pick Filipinos. Right. Um, she just happened to be. She that's just happened the gene to be. Pool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I wish you were there because we like we went to these different places to eat. And uh, next time we go, I'm calling you. I love to do. Yeah. Please. I mean, I love to eat. Yeah. And it would be great to hang out with you. Because she local. That's why. Yeah. That's how that works. You see. I'm like, where's the food? Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, What kind of music yeah. do you listen to when you're not when you're just cleaning the house? What do you listen to? Uh, I mean, I listen to everything, but I, I mean, a fallback is definitely Bob Marley for me. Like it yeah. just puts me in a great mood. Just, Does it? He just makes me happy. Yeah. Um, what was the local, like, what was the local genre back then? Who were the local beats? Yeah. What did you said? listen to locally? Oh, Fiji was oh. definitely a favorite of mine. Okay. Yeah. Is, is, is Irie Love your classmate or same near you? You know, we just missed each other. She was at Punahou up until eighth grade, and then she left, and I went to Punahou for high school. So I've never met her. No, but wait I've a heard minute. Her name since I was fourteen. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I, but I think she went to back to Punahou because I thought she did brown bags at Punahou. Mm, no, no? I don't think we got to so. ask no. her. We got to I mean, get her on the well, show. Well, because she left in eighth grade, and it's a high school talent competition. So no, I know, but I I swear I saw oh, so you're I met her she went in back to Punahou yeah I, to I go swear to high I met her in Punahou when she did brown bags. Weird, but I could be wrong. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there were only like seven black people there, so <laughs> <laughs> and Barack was one of them. Obama. So that's funny. <laughs> No, there was more than it's that. It's facts. We're not making anything up here in Hawaii. Know. So I was telling everybody you're Royal Hawaiian. Where, I, where'd that come from? <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> I wish. <Yeah. laughs> so funny. I wouldn't be mad. So, so you listen to Fiji? Anybody else? Like, what when you first concert, um, first local concert? Who were you like, yeah, skanking to? Wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, Fiji was a big one for me. There was um, Sean Not Wow. I liked yeah. Ikolu. I liked. Wow. Uh, oh. Else? See, this Justin is what little kids here young. need to see. Is yeah. a girl who's on Broadway, right? Yeah. Wasn't beautiful, is saying Ikolu and yeah. Fiji. <laughs> and like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's I validating that. for little people here. Well, going, you know, when you go oh to, my gosh, listen oh. to the when, same when you go to like a Bruno Mars concert, like I went to one in Vegas, he did it was a smaller show, twenty five hundred people in a theater. He did a whole set oh, with wow. he did a set with local music and I was like I wasn't even yelling or singing along because I was like freaking out <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah i think he did three plus he did like a medley Aww, he did like a three nice. plus and did like a, a kolu song and uh like it was like three songs he did and i was like blown away i was right. like yeah because it just is a touchstone people are it like is. oh that's something that we yeah. have i almost i almost got a little choked up i was like <laughs> where's the hawaiian flag i need to hold <laughs> it up right now you know yeah that's what was cool that? oh natural vibes i love oh, oh, natural wow. vibes yeah yeah well, they're gonna yeah. love to hear that uh, Wayne, Wayne from Natural Vibes just started a podcast and I was a guest on it a couple weeks ago. I'm going to tell him. Because that, that was your lane, 98.5. That was all your yeah, genre of music yeah. when you and Augie were doing that. You, you came on the show when we were at I-94 or me and Augie mm -hmm. were in Island 98.5? Uh, I ninety four. Was I ninety four? I think it was. It might have been right after I did brown bags. Brown bags, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, yeah. we'd love to talk to you again when you come home. Can you come in the studio? Absolutely. This yeah. Is yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. I or who knows? That. You might actually just get a podcast on the local <laughs> podcast guys network you know, over here. I would love that. You never know. Yeah. You we have never a uh, Wikio Wikio network. Know. Look that up. But we really, okay. uh, we really are proud of you, yeah. Yasmin. Congratulations you. on everything that you're doing. Uh, we'd love to come watch the, when Broadway opens up. We'd love to come watch uh, Trevor and you Please playing. Please do, and let me know when you come. Yes. If, if and when you come to New York, let me know. And I, I actually, I try to go once a year. But I mean, it's been three years, but I like, I'm going to start coming again, obviously. Yeah. Because Broadway is my thing. Oh. That's jam. like my secret. Your jam. I, I don't tell people. I'm Your going secret to, jam. Well, you know why I don't tell people? Because it's so expensive. I can only afford a ticket for me. Uh, you know what I mean? So you like don't want to roll heavy. Yeah, you bring a bunch of people. Uh, we got I want to go to ticket. Hamilton. You're like, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good luck, brah. I, I got to take out a small loan just yeah. to go see two or three he shows. He didn't want to. Can't he get us tickets? Yeah. No, no, he can't. You know, I was just thinking before we go, the, the first show I ever saw on Broadway, and it's only because it was affordable, was the Blue Man Group. <laughs> so it was oh so funny. God. You saw I, that on Broadway? Yeah, they have, I didn't was, even know that was on. They started in Broadway. Okay, yes, they were like a and the theater, experimental theater. Type the theater stage. was like four hundred oh. people, so the tickets were like twenty bucks. So, because I, I looked at the thing, I was twenty in my twenties, and I looked and I was like, oh my gosh, these are all expensive. Hundred, right. hundred, like, eighty. What is cheap, cheap, cheap? Yeah. I'm gonna go see Blue Man. Blue people. Man people, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> And then uh, a year later, I go on a cruise, and there they are again. And in Vegas. For free. And on tour <laughs> yeah. and everywhere else. Yeah. Anyway. So Yasmin, funny. where can well, everyone follow? Thank fo you so much for having me. No, no, thanks for coming on. Where can we find so you on social? Tell everybody where we can find you on social media. Uh, mostly on Instagram, Yasmin S. It's kind of, it's more personal page, but okay. there I am. <laughs> okay. Well, follow us. We're going to follow um, you back. All right. Yeah, I will. And then please tell your brother. We'd love to get a hold of him and, and talk to him. I will. And, get him and on then the show. when you do, definitely dedicate like 20 minutes. Ah, word. <laughs> you got it. Facts and you got truth it. is happening. It's only fair. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Thank you guys for watching so much. Make sure you leave a comment. Subscribe. Follow Yasmin and uh And mahalo. not her brother. Be nice to each other. <laughs> it's a Hawaii thing. It's a Hawaii thing.